So if someone was asking about something I mentioned, I mentioned about uh, obvious skills and hidden skills. So these are two basic uh, terms in, in all Chinese martial arts, so they're not, it's not unique to just Wing Chun. But the person, one of the person, people who asked me about it was, was more to say that hidden skill couldn't exist because it's hidden, it doesn't mean anything. Hidden skill doesn't mean it doesn't exist, it means that you don't see it, right? Or it's hard to see, right? So it doesn't mean it's not a skill that's not real, it's a skill that's hard to recognize unless you know the skill. If you know the skill, you can recognize it because you're, you're looking at a different layer of detail, right? So an obvious skill would be grabbing his hand and pulling him off balance. An obvious one I'm doing, I'm breaking his structure by pulling him off balance and I'm striking him, right? So if we did a lap dive, most of all, my bridge dive, that lap dive, come in, it's an obvious skill, I pull him off balance, right? A hidden skill is more. If you push towards me and I load my weight, and as you push my controller, I offset you, and he goes off balance, and I can strike him. You think, well, why did he go off balance? It's not just that he just fell over, right? It's because I had hidden skill. I applied my structure, I loaded my weight, I linked my joints, I delinked one of my joints, my elbow, to take his balance, I, I guided him off balance, and I opened up the area to attack. So that was a hidden skill. Someone who understands that kind of skill, what we're doing, they look at that and they say, oh, he floats again. That's what we call floating, right? He'd, he floated off balance, and that, that word floating will incorporate rooting, loading, linking, delinking, guiding, issuing, right? Lots of different layers, right? So a hidden skill is not something that's, that doesn't exist. It's something that exists, but has lots of layers, and you have to understand them to see it, right? It's only hidden to the person who doesn't understand it, right? So if your Wing is based upon just being very mechanical and doesn't have structural elements to it, doesn't load the joints, um, doesn't have that kind of power development, then that might, might be a hidden skill to you. If you, if you have that in your training, it's going to be an obvious skill to you because you can see it. Right? But then to a lay person who doesn't understand martial arts, they're only going to see the obvious skill. So that's the idea about hidden skill and obvious skill. They have two different elements of, of application, of, of levels of, of understanding rather than of just to the eye itself. Right?